I've got two barbecues fired up and on the go today because I'm delighted to be joined by brilliant chef and restaurateur Neil Rankin. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So you're known for cooking over live flames but slowly and I know you've already got a head start on me today. What's on the grill? I have, so I've got a lovely chicken in here. It's been on here for about 45 minutes. Yep. It's got about another 45 minutes to go. We cook chicken low and slow because we don't want to lose the moisture. You don't want to grill it at high heat because by the time it's fully cooked, it's going to be overcooked in certain parts. Low and slow for a while and then we're going to hit it with some real fire and get those grill marks and all the colour on right at the end. In yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to go low and slow for mine and I'm going to do some butternut squash cooked really slowly to get all those caramelised flavours going. I'm going to keep this really simple to start with. Just a bit of oil, a bit of salt and pepper on some slices of butternut squash. And like your chicken, it's going over an indirect heat, so it's not above the fire. And how long is that going to cook for? I guess about 15, 20 yeah. each side. Perfect. I don't want to cook it too hot, because I want to keep it all juicy inside. OK, so I'm going to make a really straightforward chamula sauce here. We've got some cumin seeds here, a small pinch of them. We've got some limes here. I'm going to chop them up. They're going to go in as we're making the sauce. Some coriander. Leaves and stock. Yeah. My favourite part. You get the best flavour, don't yeah, you, in the store? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Some fresh mint. Probably my favourite herb in the world. Mint tea, mint water, mint everything, mint on all the food. It adds freshness to everything. And again, just give that a little bit of a chop through. Nice fresh garlic. Just a nice simple green sauce. So how smooth are you looking to get that? I quite like these things quite chunky, yeah. but you don't, want, you don't want bits of leaves in your mouth. That's looking good, yeah? Delicious. So the butternut squash is coming on really nicely, so I'm just gonna make a quick pomegranate salsa. Mint and flat leaf parsley for me. Pretty rough and rustic, because I like a bit of texture in there. There we go. Good handful of spring onions into there, and some pomegranate molasses. One of my favorite ingredients. Oh, really lovely combination yeah. of sort of sweet and sour, isn't it, at the same time? And that just needs to stir. How's your chicken getting on? It's looking great. Smelling um, amazing. And we can joint this here in the grill. So this grill isn't too hot. There you go, that's all right. Fantastic. The squash is looking beautiful now. I'm gonna get a little bit of this pomegranate molasses that I love so much. And that's gonna sort of like reduce down and caramelise even more. I'm into that. And I just want to give it a little brush round and then onto these slightly awkward slices of the massive <laughs> holes in, but there's a use for those in a minute. And these are not going to take long now at all. I'm just going to put some feta on the whole slices. So you're going to melt the feta on there? Yeah, let it melt because the hot feta is brilliant. I just love the texture of it. Beautiful. So intense. And then we just want to shut the lid. That's one hot barbecue now. This time, we've got a direct heat on here. We're going to get the chicken back on. We're going to get all the sizzle, all the colour. And I'm going to add a few other goodies here. Things like lemons and limes, which are usually quite sour. Citrus fruit just goes lovely on a grill. Um, and then you get that real sweetness, a little bit like the pomegranate molasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love cooking fruit and vegetables on the grill. You do it so much, but... Yeah, um, make the whole thing. So you're going to cooking your whole meal on the yeah. barbecue. That's what I Chili's like. Chilli's on there as well. Let's yeah. get them all blackened up. So we can be turning this and getting some colour onto the skin. So you're just going to keep turning and turning and caramelising. Yeah, I mean, the chicken was cooked perfectly. Yeah. All we're looking is for that little bit of crispy skin. Yeah and those grill marks and those Maillard reactions and all the things that are going to turn this chicken and just give it that roast chicken taste. So I'm just going to load this up with some of this chicken. Smelling it's got so that beautiful good. colour on it. We can just pile it up there. And then some of these I'm going to squeeze over. It's a squeezer. <laughs> there we go. Some of these chilies on there. Oh, this is my kind of food. OK. Right. Right. These look absolutely they fabulous. They look good now, don't they? So okay. bring me that platter. So we're going to tuck so one go in there. there, and then one there. And then these little lids. 
are going to go on. It's like a little sandwich. Right, so I'm going to put the salsa in those handy holes in the squash slices. And now I'm going to drizzle this chamula sauce right all over all this chicken here. So I've just got really simple Greek yogurt, garlic and chilli. You can pour that all over my chicken as well, that's going to be absolutely amazing. Just going to finish this off lovely. Get some mint leaves on there, coriander. Spring onions, some Aleppo chilli and a good grind of black pepper. Final drizzle of olive oil and we're there. So that's my sticky butternut squash with melting feta, pomegranate salsa and garlic yogurt. And this is my slow-cooked barbecue chicken with tremula sauce and grilled citrus fruits. And huge thanks to my guest chef today, Neil Rankin. What a feast. <laughs>